In April 2025, China held a stunning event, a human robot marathon in Beijing. And while it may not have broken any speed records, it definitely sparked a whole lot of conversation, curiosity, and a few laughs online. The event, which brought humanoid robots onto a running track alongside their human creators, was meant to show off the evolving link between man and machine. Instead, it gave us something a little more unexpected. Robots walking backward, some falling dramatically at the starting line, and others getting gentle assistance via humans and leashes. Was it a major fail or performance art? Let's take a closer look at what really happened and what it might mean for us. What was the Human Robot Marathon all about? Held in Beijing, the Human Robot Marathon was designed as a public demonstration of progress in humanoid robotics. A handful of robots, each developed by different human tech teams, lined up alongside their human operators to complete a short course. The concept? Show how far these machines have come in moving through physical environments, balancing and running with real people. And sure, some robots struggled. One famously fell at the starting line, others wandered off course or appeared hesitant to move at all. But then again, isn't that what progress looks like? We've all seen the highlight reels of robots doing backflips or serving coffee, but this event offered something else, a behind the scenes look at how challenging it is to create these machines, why it went viral. The footage quickly found its way across platforms like YouTube, TikTok, X, Twitter, and Reddit. People had really high expectations, and yes, they were pretty disappointed. I expected at least some robots to outrun us, but hey, this is just the start. People weren't intent on mocking the technology. They were reacting to the difference between the hype around robotics and the actual speed of real-world development. Even more attention was drawn by the fact that some robots appeared to be supported by fishing lines or guided via remote control. This reminds me of the famous robot dance routine at China's CCTV New Year Gala, which was later revealed to involve puppeteering. Yes, I was surprised as well. The robots weren't performing autonomously at all. But instead of focusing on what went wrong, many viewers started asking, what are we really seeing? And what are we being told to see? What people are saying online. Reddit.r slash futurology and r slash Chinatech. It's not failure, it's transparency. This is what it actually takes to build real robots. I respect the fact that they showed the messy side most companies wouldn't dare. Twitter slash X. People forget. Walking is hard. For humans, it takes a year. Why should we expect more from robot? YouTube comments. Robot leash walking might be the new dog walking. Imagine explaining this to someone in 1920. They'd think we were gods. A different kind of progress. Let's be honest. Building humanoid robots isn't just about getting them to run. It's about helping them navigate the real world, respond to unpredictability, and move with precision all of which are hard and complex tasks. So when a robot falls down or needs a helping hand, it doesn't actually mean failure. It just means we're seeing the whole process now. And maybe that's exactly what makes events like this marathon important for us, not because they show perfection, but because they show the effort behind the scenes. The transparency question. There's a growing conversation around how robotics is presented to the public. When we see a flawless robot performance, whether it's a dance, a sprint, or a delicate task, we're often watching a carefully curated moment. But the human robot marathon felt different. It didn't hide the struggle. It didn't overhype. In fact, it opened up the possibility of talking about what's still hard, what's still uncertain, and what we're still figuring out. And that might be more important than showing a dance routine or jumping over a box. Personal commentary. It was a cool event after all. Okay, I'll admit, I laughed at the robot that walked backward for 10 straight meters. Who wouldn't? 
But the more I watched the clips, the more I felt like the engineers needed to be appreciated more. The people put their prototypes out there knowing they might fall or lose their balance. It takes an insane amount of effort to balance a 70 caliber machine on two feet. And honestly, I respect the openness of showing failure, especially in a world where every robot appears flawless. Because failure isn't the end at all, it is progress. This wasn't China failing at robotics. This was China showing what it actually looks like to build something real, a symbol of what's to come. China has made enormous strides in robotics, from the development of agile robots like Unitree's H1 to ambitious humanoids with advanced vision and grip systems. The marathon didn't change that narrative at all. Make no mistake, China will still be at the top of robotics, even with this failed event. This event actually reminded us that behind every smooth demo is a thousand hours of trial and error. And that when you're building machines meant to live in the real world, there's no shortcut around imperfection. Whether you see the marathon as a tech showcase, a PR move, or a live debugging session, there's no denying it made the world stop and comment. Stumbles, starts, and something real. At first glance, the human robot marathon may have looked like a joke, but on closer inspection, it felt more like a quiet act of transparency. No filters, no edits, just robots trying their best to move forward, and sometimes backwards. So yeah, I think it took a lot of hard work to arrange this marathon. <laughs> and I just watched a video commenting on how stupid the robots looked and how this was an epic fail. Well, here's the thing. Robots aren't something easy to make. Of course, it isn't going to be a perfect event. But everyone had fun and no one was harmed, so I don't see anything wrong with that. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more info on AI, robots, and new technology.